the best country. Yeah. What makes it the best country? The people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ideas. Yeah. The freedom. Everything like that. Yeah, you have freedom because you're a white boy. <laughs> uh oh. I'm. Oh, she don't got it right now. Oh, mama. You got freedom because you're a white boy. Yeah, oh, good. Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. I do hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled Young Americans Say USA is Not the Greatest Country. What can I say before I get right into this video regarding that matter? Uh, what do you define? as the greatest country how do you define the greatest country like uh there are many categories you know that you have to consider just like a basketball conversation regarding the greatest basketball player of all time is subjected to you you the viewer it's subjected to you you decide who's the greatest basketball player of all time i decide we cannot come to a conclusion because of our differences. And that's the same thing, I believe, with the fact that you cannot consider America the greatest country in the world. You can consider it the greatest country at this, greatest country at that. And that will give you a conclusion for everybody. But you definitely cannot have a, a general conclusion due to the fact that majority of humans are going to disagree. Like, come on, there are so many countries in this world and a lot of countries are going to be offended by that. But uh, is America great? Hell yeah, America is a great country. A lot of European countries are great countries. African countries, great countries. Asian countries, great countries. So we all have great countries all over the world. So um, let's get right into this video. If you are uh, new to foreign reactions, please subscribe. This is where we do foreign reactions. Everything done here has to be foreign to the reactor. And that's who I am. So please do subscribe and leave a like in this video. And please do tell me how you like that two angle that you're getting from this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into this reaction video. This is Addison Smith with Campus Reform. We're here in Atlanta, oh, hey. Georgia today, home of Georgia State hey, University. You. And we're going to be asking people what they think about America. Are they proud to be an American? Do they think America is exceptional? Let's see what they have to say. Fourth of July weekend, are you guys proud to be an American? Oh, no, I'm not. Um, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Absolutely yes. not. This country is a disgrace. Why not? Because, like, America is like, America was built off the hands of black African Americans. I just feel like we have more things to work on. You know, it's kind of fucked up out here, ain't it? You agree? It's fucked up out here right now, right? So look at where we're... I ain't gonna really, you know, the, the, the past, you can't hold the past, man. You can't hold a man accountable. Um, not accountable, but you gotta hold a man accountable for his past, but you can't hold a man to the past, not because he did something bad. Remember this, majority of countries in this world literally rose to the top due to slavery whether it was slaves in europe slaves in africa asian slaves a lot of slaves because that's what the, the world was until like literally me having a job working a nine to five is literally considered slavery it's just that this time around i'm getting paid for it so back then we still had slavery so that's how the countries rose to where they were that's the reason why countries were fighting so much so i'm not gonna hold america accountable not accountable sorry i'm not gonna hold america hostage and just hold it against them and not you know think greatly of America just because they had a bad past. They had a bad past to get to where they're at right now. It's all about what you're doing now, but I ain't gonna discredit. I'm not gonna sit here and act as if America ain't doing some garbage. So don't get it twisted. Going, I mean, all the rioting and just the problems that nobody wants to fix. We've never had that type of like equalism. So in celebration of the fourth, I really don't see a reason in like celebrating anything, you know? I don't understand that what, what problems? I mean, in regards to like the Black Lives Matter movement, gun violence, poverty rates. And I'm from the Philippines. Very much and well said. Sharing my culture here and knowing the cultures of Americans is a great pleasure. And that is once in a lifetime experience. It's the best country. Yeah. What makes it the best country? The people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ideas. Yeah. The freedom. Everything like that. Yeah, you have freedom because you're a white boy. <laughs> uh oh. I'm. Oh, she don't got it right now. Oh, mama. You got freedom because you're a white boy. Yeah, oh, oh, good. Why you did it like that, Shawty? But hey, it's really the white man who really benefited from what the what the first dude was talking about, the black dude. 
it's really the white man who actually benefited from that. So you can see how the white man was affected, the black man was affected. You know what I mean? America's a great country. Uh, I ain't gonna say America trash. America's not trash, but I mean, there's a lot of tweaking that needs to, you know, take place. You know what I'm trying to say? But like I said before, you cannot hold America to the fact that slavery is what made America where it's at right now. You can't do that because you got to remember that slavery was a thing worldwide, man. It was a it was a thing worldwide. So most of these countries had slaves, most of them. And most of these countries actually held to other countries. Remember, America had to gain independence for crying out loud, right? So that just tells you how, you know, things work. You know what I'm trying to say? How to be an American because my father uh, came here from Honduras. He just showed me the way of being an American, which is sometimes it's not always easy, but we're here. Of course, I'm proud to be in America. What's that? Because, you know, it's a land of opportunity, as they say. <laughs> you notice how the immigrants, they, um, they're they much more appreciative of where they're at. I think that's a really beautiful thing. Um, I don't think they're denying the issues in America, but I think they're more appreciative of what um, they have. And, um, you know, that's really a good thing to see. hard to be alive in America. So you think America is exceptional? Uh, I feel like it can do a lot better. You know what I'm for saying? For sure. Understand everybody else around the country, like, understand everybody how they feel, but... Better than a lot of the other places, though. For sure, I can say that. So do you think America's an exceptional country? Um, yes and no. If you are born no. in America, it is an exceptional country. But mm. if you are not born here, um, you might find some struggles. You don't think America's an exceptional country? I'm not going to agree with that, ma'am. I'm sorry, but um, if you're born in uh, maybe any european country you practically um are just as equal to an american country like there are a lot of countries some asian countries that are practically dead even with the privileges that um being a, being born in america has. so can't really give you that plus sign right there but um her first point was pretty good pretty solid her being an immigrant pretty solid I think it has potential. Potential. It's not an easy situation to grow up in America if you're not <clears throat> white. <laughs> you don't see America as good. No, it's not. Yeah, do, you, do you think there's other good. countries that are better? Which countries do you think are better? Uh, I really don't have a, like a preference of any country being better because every country has their own issues. Do you right think on. that there's other countries maybe right that are better on. than America right, right now? No. 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 So you think America's exceptional? Yes. Yeah. Land of it, it, I could deal with it. I ain't finna go to no other country. <laughs> but, you, but you want to consider it better than, than the other countries? Uh, no. What countries do you think are better? <laughs> I mean... got you there. <laughs> they fucked up. The other countries is bad, bad. We're just bad. <laughs> you feel me? Don't make it good. Well, a, a lot of other countries around the world, you know, slavery was commonplace for thousands of years, so a lot of other countries you could say the same about, don't you think? Yeah, you can. So, like, I'm not really saying... Well, from my experience in America, that's, like, my people have been through that so like in ghana you come to africa ghana is good you feel me i want to go back to ghana you know go live life go all this shit racist shit i don't <laughs> see all the stuff in ghana i think like there are a lot better healthcare systems in like europe and such especially like sweden does a really good job of like presenting a positive plan like the nordic countries yeah, yeah. they also yeah. have like 10 people so well, those are capitalist countries too though <laughs> <laughs> yes so I think maybe people should try and, you know, forget about America and start moving to Africa. <laughs> you don't think America is the greatest country in the world? Uh, at this point, no, no. If you're not white, like, you can still grow from that and show you yourself. You can still succeed in America. You can, uh, in a way. Would you consider America the land of opportunity? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is the land of opportunity. You only will know that if you go to another country and see how they get treated. So not the land of opportunity. Okay, that one, that one's tricky because I feel like everybody has an opportunity given their motives. Go to jail in another country and see how your, how your life is. You're gonna be begging to come back to America. Nah, just, nah, bro. I watched a video, reaction video about prisons in Finland and um, it was hella good.
<laughs> I'm telling you, you were hella good. You'd probably prefer to live in a prison in Finland rather than in America. I'm just being honest. <laughs> but I kind of like the dude in the blue shirt, the original dude. I liked his POV. I like I like his reasoning ability, but he still has the slavery part 100% anger, right? Because slavery is what made practically this entire world because remember, there was no such thing as a job, my dude. There's no such thing as a job. You, you were either high or low. Right? Male or female. Remember that. Right? There is pay inequality. Right? So just think about it. There's a lot of iffies and a lot of things that was going on in this world, if you know what I'm trying to say. So he has good points. But um I don't really think he's hitting it the way how he's supposed to be hitting it. Regarding the racism in America, what it is is that it's the current issue of racism in America, the inequality, inequal opportunities that are presented to people, people being judged based off of color when it comes to a job interview or getting the, uh, you know, a job in America. That's really the issue in America, not what happened, because what happened practically happened in every single country in this world. I can't give you the details if it was every country, but I can promise you it's probably 50 percent or more that had slavery. On a social standpoint, no. We, I don't really see this, uh, like America is like this beautiful place. But. Yeah, would you consider it the land of opportunity? More, way more than the other country, yeah. It's lots of opportunities, that's, uh, this is of course the, the land of dreams. Everyone dreams to be here. <laughs> Everybody don't dream to be in America, boy, come on now. Come on now, boy. Everybody don't dream to be in America. But um, America is beautiful. I'll give you that. America is beautiful. I love America. Always will and forever love America. But when it comes to honesty, you just got to be honest and say America is a wonderful place to be. It's not the safest. It doesn't have the best health care. It's, um, it's not the place filled with equality. It's ine inequality is literally so dominant in America with race, gender, sex, everything. Inequality is dominant in America, right? So, um... What, what can I say? America has its flaws, many flaws, but um, it's a beautiful country, as I said before in the beginning, but I will not give it the greatest country in the world, but I will say it's the greatest country in many things. So um, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like in the video as usual, and uh, that's going to be it, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.